This is how to set up the Amharic keyboard for both Vista and Windows 7. This is similar to older versions of Windows, but uh, Vista has added the Nyala font and the Amharic keyboard. So we go to Start, and then Control Panel. Within Control Panel, this is the major difference, but it, uh, they're basically the same in name. So Regional and Language Options should be in both Vista and Windows 7. Then we go to Keyboards and Languages, Change Keyboards. Uh, English should be the only one installed, so go to Add. When you click on Add, the new window should provide you with numerous languages, the fourth one being Amharic. Expand Amharic, Expand Keyboard, and check Amharic Input Method. Just to make sure I clicked on, the, on that to make sure it was added hit OK, close these out, and now we'll go to Open Office. Uh, this should also work with Microsoft Word. And uh, you'll see the major difference now is that at the bottom of the screen I just clicked on the language bar and it should be set to English by default which it says EN and then when you click on Amharic it shows you an Amharic A and an AM. And so now you can immediately begin typing. So Gonjo Kalal and then there's Konjo again just as I change views and then Amarinya and as you can see once you type N if you keep going down in the list, you can go find not only Nanuni Nanene No, but you can also find Nyanyuni. Then Mazgabak Alat. So that's the basic uh, keyboard layout. It's pretty. It's very similar to the other layouts, except for the the box that comes up for, with help for how to type. Uh, you can use this in all of Salamsoft products. You can use this on the website if you turn on the language bar as you as you type in the box. Uh, the second box on the website, the lower box, obviously already has Amharic if you have JavaScript installed. And then this also works in the desktop version.